welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do uh, your weekly reading Virgo. This is going to be May 10th through uh, May 16th. Um, I apologize last week I had some some health issues so I was not able to finish the weekly readings for last week. So I'm doing um, you and others first um, so that uh, you will be uh, getting your weekly reading early. So this will be May 10th through the 16th. Please remember it is a general reading. If you'd like something more specific, the information is in the description box for a personal reading. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Uh, remember it is general, so it may not resonate with everyone, so take the messages that do resonate. Uh, energies and roles can be reversed as well. If you'd like to check out your other signs, uh, there is a video playlist link um, in the description box. And then the last thing that I have for you is I am doing um, a giveaway at the end of the month. If you're new to my channel, I am giving away um, two personal readings to enter. You just need to subscribe, like, and comment, and you will be entered. And I will announce the winners um, in a video with a pick an angel reading the first uh, week of every month. So I will actually be doing uh, the, the April winners uh, probably today or tomorrow. So watch out for that. All right, Virgo, let's get started here. I'm going to start with your notes from the universe uh, message here. It says, don't be misled. Okay, don't be misled. When fear speaks, it, it's always wrong, unless being chased by wild beasts. And when love speaks, it's always right and usually bouncy. Game on the universe. Okay, Virgo. I don't think you'd let anybody mislead you. <laughs> so, all right. Nice message there. Okay, so we're going to pull some of these Psychic Tarot Oracle cards. Then we will clarify with um, the Tarot. And then I will pull some Romance Angels and Angel Answer cards. All right, let's see what we got going on here for Virgo. May 10th through the 16th. Let's get two more cards. Ooh, beautiful, Virgo. What do we got here? Bottom of the deck, stand your ground. Okay, Virgo, this could be something um, something going on. Uh, I'm going to move this card here. Let's see if you can see it here. There we go. Um, I feel like there's a situation going on here where you may have had to stood your ground. Okay, you may have had to stand up for something. You may have had to set your boundaries with someone. Okay. And um, which I feel is great here because it looks like it's paying off. The first card that you have here is the solar plexus chakra. And um, so I feel like it's almost like I feel here in your gut. Um, you intuitively know what you have to do here in this situation. Now remember, this reading is um, a weekly general reading, which means it can be anything. It can be love, it could be regarding career and finances, situations with family, friends, coworkers, um, and you know, love attachments, love comes in all forms. So I feel like there's a situation here where you kind of just know um, instinctively in your gut, um, intuitively here um, that there is something here growing very so here with the prosperity begins here so there may be a, a um, financial situation a career move um, an investment um, a partnership possibly in a business or this also could be a love uh, situation here but I feel here, Virgo, you have planted the seed here. Whatever this is, you have planted the seed and it's already growing here. You're already building your prosperity. You're already building your wealth. You're already building um, stability here, okay? Whether this is love or this has to do with a career. And um, you're standing your ground, you're setting your boundaries, okay? Because I feel here you're making it happen. 
you already know instinctively what to do in this situation. I see here though, you, ha you have the sacrifice card here. So I feel like you may have had to make some sacrifices for this situation to happen is what I'm getting here, okay? Now the next card you have is Passion Ignited, okay? You got two ones here. So you got a three here, okay, and two ones here. So I feel like this may be something too that you are just now beginning to manifest and it's something that you're very, very passionate about you feel good in your heart about it. Like I said, I feel you instinctively know that this is going to work or this is going to happen here. So beautiful energy there. So I feel like you're very passionate about it. It's kind of got you going. You're, um, you're making a stand on it. So let's get three cards here for Virgo. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Virgo? May 10th through the 16th. What messages do you have for Virgo, May 10th through the 16th? Let's get three cards, please. Okay, we have Trapped in Fear. Now remember, if you're dealing with another person, I, I said before, energies can be uh, reversed. So take it how it resonates. We have Solitude, and then we have Triumph, Success, another number one card here. You got three ones on the board. And then look here, you have another triumph card. This is crossing the finish line. This is victory. Um, this is, you know, being rewarded, okay, or recognized. All right. Now, the first um, card you have with the solar plexus chakra, chapped in fear. So you may have had some fears about this situation in the past, but I feel here that, like I said, your gut, your intuition is telling you to keep moving forward, even though there may have been some fear here with that. I feel here you really took some time here, some time in solitude here to really think about this situation, how it was going to happen, how it was going to grow, uh, what seeds you needed to plant here. I feel like this was something that you definitely put a lot of thought into and um, a lot of planning is what I'm getting as well. Okay. This may also to be uh, this solitude could, could be a time where, um, you know, if this has to deal with another person, this could be a time where, you know, you're standing your ground right now. You may be taking a break from that person. You may not be talking with this person. Or maybe, um, you know, you put an offer on the table, whether it's love or it's not love. And, um, you know, you're standing your ground on your offer. You're um, standing up for your self-worth here. And um, you planted the seed to grow, okay? And then look here. You have passion ignited and triumph and success here. So I get here this tells me that definitely here with the victory card, the triumph card, you are going to have success from this situation. Uh, you have the passion, you're standing up for yourself. I feel like you have the clarity, you have the vision. Um, you may be cutting people out of your life that are no longer of value or there's no added value to um, you know, certain things in your life. It doesn't have to be people, but I feel here, it's almost like you're cleaning house. You're getting rid of the clutter. You are seeing the light to this new path that you have. And I see victory here. I feel like it's definitely moving forward for you, which is beautiful. And I just said moving forward with you and look what you have here. You have the accelerated card. So this tells me the, the stars are aligning. Things are gonna start to move very quickly. And then look at here, you have the wisdom card. You have the, all the wisdom and the intelligence you need for this situation. So that is just beautiful, Virgo. Okay, so let's pull some um, tarot cards and see what other messages we get here regarding your situation. So everything looks like it's moving in a new direction. Um, moving into direction that's going to be more um, abundant for you and passionate, um, even though you may have had some fears about it in the past. So I'm going to pull um, three cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. 
What messages do you have for Virgo regarding this situation for May 10th through the 16th? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. Okay, we have six of cups. Okay, someone from your past, a soulmate energy, could be receiving a gift here. Or you may be thinking about someone in the past or vice versa. We have Page of Pentacles, good news. Okay, I see here you're going to receive good news um, within a month or so here. Some of you may be uh, developing a new skill. Oh, look at we have things coming to fruition here. We have the Empress card, and then we have the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, I feel like this is a new business, okay? This is a new business that's going to take off here uh, with the Empress card. Um, you may be receiving some good news about it um, within the next uh, month or so, and this may be something new, a new skill or something that you have started all right yeah there could be this could be something too that was if this is business could be something that was very close to your heart during childhood or somebody you know from your childhood may be um, somehow involved here if this is love you could be dealing with an aries okay now remember um you know take the signs they could have any sign in their chart so don't get too hung up on the signs if this is love for you here i feel like you may be dealing with a soulmate here somebody from the past okay somebody in the situation may have been stuck in their fears here okay knowing in their gut that they needed to move forward so then you also have page of pentacles so if you have not heard from this person um, because I do see here there may have been um, a little break here or maybe a time of solitude where you and this person may not have been talking. I feel like you stood your ground, Virgo, because you weren't going to be misled in any way, shape, or form. And um, now I feel like this person is going to reach out to you. You're going to receive some good news. And then you have the Empress card, okay, on top of passion and triumph. This tells me that things are going to come to fruition and things are going to work out beautifully for you. You're going to feel really, really good about this. So, wow, beautiful energy here, Virgo. Let's um, pull a few uh, Romance Angel cards and then we'll pull a few Angel uh, Guidance cards. Thank you. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Uh, let's get two more romance angel cards for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Week 510 through 516. Okay, let's get one more card. Okay, bottom of the deck. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Romantic feelings. Okay, so the person you're dealing with has romantic feelings for you. All right, now this could be new love. It does not have to be somebody from the past. I do see some past energy, um, but this can also be something new coming in for you because you got a lot of ones on the board. It's either going to be a rekindled, uh, you know, reunion, uh, reconciliation, or a, a new person, but you have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine, um, and then you have true love. This is a romance of a lifetime, okay? So you got somebody coming in for you um, who definitely has feelings for you. Uh, definitely soulmate energy here. And then the last card you have is heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay. So definitely you got somebody coming in here. This could, uh, we got Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo on the board. We have Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Uh, we have uh, Aries. Okay, we also have the air signs, Aquarius, uh, Libra, Gemini as well. Just beautiful. Okay, so let's pull a few uh, angel answer cards, see what comes out. All right, thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Virgo 510 through 516? Let's get one more card, please. Okay. 
Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So we have playfulness in a year from now. So what I'm getting here, okay, the, the, the message I've been getting from this card, which is a year from now, it may take between now and a year, you know, for things to really get back on track uh, with your situation. But the, the message I've been getting from Spirit here, because we you can see the world is right here, the center of this card is the world, and everything that's going on around us um, has really, in a lot of ways, delayed things or changed uh you know the way things are happening or the way things that we are doing things so i feel here this is an indication that things are really not going to get back to normal with your situation um i feel like there is going to be movement and progression but it but things are just going to happen differently uh between now and a year because of the situation that's going on in the world and that's what i'm getting there now, the next two cards you have, um, you had true love and you have unlikely. So um, this is an indication, the unlikely card means here that um, you may envision things are going to happen a certain way or in a certain timing, but this card comes to tell you it's unlikely to happen the way you think it's going to happen. It's going to happen in divine timing. It's going to happen um, how it is meant to play out. And you can see here, it's kind of cloudy here. So it's kind of like unknown how it's all going to fall into place. And I feel like that really has to do with what's going on in the world right now. And that's why your angels can't give you like clear guidance on this true love situation. Okay. But I do see here, you are going to be receiving some good news between now and a month. And then the last two cards, heart to heart conversations and improving health. I feel here once you have this conversation with this person, it's really um, going to help you a lot here. It's going to make you feel better. Um, you may have some stress or anxiety about the situation, or you may even be having some health problems and this person may be able to help you. But I do see here you have the Empress, which tells me that your energy is going to be restored and you are going to come to a place where you're going to improve your health, okay, whether this is actually, you know, a medical health situation, or this is just a situation because this person has given you some worry or anxiety, okay. All right, so beautiful uh, reading there, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you'd like to uh, enter in the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.